Um, we're going to start, you're going to start by laying down onto your mat. If you have your blocks, grab your blocks. Make sure the blocks are up somewhere near you um, while you're laying down so you can easily reach over and grab them. And now want to flat down on your mat. You can either have your knees bent, however you're comfortable. And I just want you to take a few moments. I know most of you have been running around today and you had stuff going on. So this is probably the first time you've made contact and been flat <laughs> since you got up off the bed this morning. So just take a few moments and allow your body to recline. Again, yeah, knees can be bent, feet can be flat. And take like maybe one or two, maybe three. Let's do three cleansing breaths. So breathe in slowly. Try to get yourself to give, you know, give yourself a nice, slow, deep breath in and then exhale out the mouth. Take your time with that. Think about when you're exhaling out, just kind of letting go, letting those shoulders relax, releasing you know, any little bits of tension. This is your hour. This next hour is your hour for us to move, raise our vibrations, feel good. And it's hard to do that if you're working through stuff that's stuck to you today. So do your cleansing breaths, release what you can now, and then class will help you get rid of the rest of it. But if you can let some stuff go now, let it go. Feel that earth beneath you. Feel that nice, solid foundation beneath your body. And let your breathing return a little bit more normal. Maybe a little bit slower than when you first lay down. Maybe a little more awareness since you did the cleansing breaths. Now you're feeling the rise and fall of your chest. Your inhales maybe a little deeper than it was a lot of times during the day we only take our breath to about the middle of our chest so see if you can bring it a little bit lower a little closer to the belly on that inhale and now on your exhale start to pull your belly button in just a hair get that diaphragm area pull that belly button in and push the air out so make it a stronger exhale again don't have to be super strong it's not you know Find that balance between ease and effort. You're just using your belly like a, almost like a, a little bit of a bellows effect as you're pulling that belly button on. You're just kind of pushing all the air out of the lungs when you exhale, releasing any stale air that may be trapped in there. And again, this is also cleansing. This is also the ujjayi breath. Getting the body a little warmer. and always breathe in a manner that is comfortable for you. And now maybe notice your shoulders and your ears, and if you can kind of soften through your shoulders, the space where your neck and your shoulders meet, if you can soften your jaw, that's your tongue. If your tongue's pushing against the top of your mouth, let it relax. It can sit up against the top of your mouth. Just make sure it's not pushing. Maybe even let it drop to the bottom of your mouth for a moment. And then notice if there's space between your top and bottom teeth. And let there be a little space between your top and bottom teeth. Feel that floor beneath you. Feel the body just being supported. See if you can let go of any holding in the body that you may be doing right now. We like to hold in our shoulders. We like to hold in our jaw. Just see if you can let all that be soft. We like to hold in our hips. See if you can let that soften. And that sends some signals all the way down to your feet. Whether your knees are bent and your feet are flat or your toes are up in the air, give your toes a little wiggle. Wiggle the toes. Little life hack, by making your brain send signals to the toes, you help to circumvent your stress response because it takes a little more effort to move your toes than anywhere else because they're further away from your brain. So you have to kind of stop <laughs> whatever mental thing is going on to make your toes wiggle. So wiggle those toes if you need to. And now the next thing that we're gonna do is I'd like to do a nice full body stretch. So take your arms up over your head, palms face one another, your thumbs are pointed down, take an inhale, 
reach through your fingertips and stretch your legs out long if your knees are still bent. Reach through your fingertips, reach through your heels, breathe in. Now squeeze your belly button in on the exhale, stretch a little more. Take another inhale here, maybe pull your armpits down just a bit, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, and then go ahead and reach and stretch again. And then we're gonna reach and we're gonna grab our left wrist with our right hand. We're gonna cross our left foot over our right ankle. And now we're gonna lean over to the right hand side with our left foot and we're gonna pull our left hand over to that right hand side. So we're making a C shape with the body, stretching through that side body. And then go ahead and inhale, uncross the foot, let go of that wrist, take another breath, reach long and stretch. Exhale, grab the wrist, cross the ankle, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach over to the other side. Inhale, come back up long, let go, uncross the foot, let go of the hand, take a breath, reach and stretch through the fingers. Exhale, let your arms come down along either side of you. Turn your palms up, let your shoulders relax down, take a breath. And now take your hands and you're gonna bring your hands to, um, you're gonna, I don't know how to explain this. Your, your hands are gonna sit on your thigh creases and you're gonna make like a triangle with your fingers. So your thumbs are gonna come together and you're gonna feel where your hip creases are with, your, with the flat of your, your palms. And you're gonna stretch the legs out long. The more the legs should already still be out long. And then you're gonna reach and stretch through your legs. You're gonna feel your hands resting on your hips. And now I want you to just think, think about lifting your ankles up. Your feet are pretty close together here. They're not hip distance, they're not touching, but they're not hip distance. And I want you to think about lifting up your ankles. Don't lift them, but think about lifting them up. And notice if you feel any contraction there where your hands are sitting. That's when I, when I tell you guys to squeeze your hip points together, that's kind of what I mean, that contraction you're feeling there. So now that you're thinking about lifting up, and now without lifting them, push up through your ankles. And again, notice that contraction in the belly area, in your hip points, feel that. Take a breath in. And now you should feel some tightness below your belly button, kind of where you're, you're making that triangle with your hands. So kind of keep that engagement. We're gonna need that for some of the balance stuff we're gonna do. Feel how that feels, kind of remember that. And now if you have your blocks, go ahead and take your blocks. You're gonna undo your triangle. You're gonna hold on to your blocks. You're gonna put the blocks, your blocks are just gonna sit on top of your hands. You're not gonna hold the blocks. You're gonna sit them on top of your hands and reach your hands up over your head. So one block in each hand, you're pushing, you're gonna pretend the blocks are heavier than they actually are. And again, your feet are close enough that they're almost touching. Maybe they're not quite touching, but they're almost touching. Pull your waistline down. You should feel this engagement. Stretch through your fingertips. Gently push up through your blocks. Now just pretend that you're lifting your ankles and feel that engagement in your core. You should definitely feel something. Take another breath. Next, inhale, we're gonna lift our chest up. Keep your ears in line with your biceps. And again, you should feel that core as you lift up your arms and your chest. Your arms aren't gonna come super high. They're, the biceps will stay right by the ears. Exhale, come back down. We're gonna do that two more times. Now squeeze your belly button down, prepare. And now lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Keep your ears in line with your biceps. Push up into the block. Think about lifting your ankles. Exhale, come back down. One more, squeeze the waistline and push up through the blocks. Breath in and out. Now see if you can lift your ankles just an inch or two up. Reach through your heels, reach through your fingers. Exhale, come back down. You should definitely feel something in there. So again, remember how that feels. Squeeze the belly button down here. Let's go ahead and bend the knees and bring the feet down flat. Bring your block, blocks back down along either side of you. 
Bring the low back to the ground. Inhale, let it come up. Exhale, belly button down, squeeze the low back down. Inhale, let it come up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze low back down. Bring the right knee into the chest. Give it a nice squeeze in center. Left leg long. Reach through your heel. Breath in. And out. Good. Switch out your sides. Left knee and reach through your right heel. Both knees in. Give them a nice squeeze in. Point the feet right up to the ceiling. Give me a couple of points and flexes with the toes. Maybe some ankle rotations. Giving all the love with those ankles. Bring those knees back in. Give them a squeeze in. Let's gently rock from side to side here. Massaging the tailbone and low back area. Breath in. And out. In. And out. We're going to do one more. A uh, core thing here. So with the knees and you should feel your low back on the ground. Pull your belly button and keep that low back on the ground. Take your block. Put the short side of your block against your thigh. Put your tricep against the short side of a block against your thigh. Give it a squeeze in. Take an inhale. Reach your right arm and right leg long. You can let your head lay back to start. And then exhale. Lift up the knee. Take the elbow past the knee as you crunch in. Keep the head lifted. Inhale. Go long. Stretch long. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, go long. If this becomes too much for the neck and the shoulders, you can let the head lay back. Go long. Three more. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, long. Exhale, keep that belly button in. Go long. One more. We were shooting for six. If you got a few more in you, go right ahead. Take a breath. Take another one, bring the block to the top of your shins, get those knees another squeeze in, put the block on top of the shins, rock gently from side to side, and we're gonna go ahead and switch out our sides. Short side of the block against the thigh, bicep against the thigh, or not the bicep, the tricep against the block. So we're pushing the block, we're squeezing that side of our body, keeping that side engaged. Reach long through your fingertips, reach long through your heel, reach and stretch. Exhale, lift the chest, bring the knee past the elbow. Inhale, reach long. You can keep the shoulders lifted or you can let the head lay back. Breathe in, go long. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, long. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, long. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, long. I think that was six. This might be six. Go on long. Bring that knee back in. Put your block on top of your shin. Squeeze those knees in nice and close a little. Rocking back and forth from side to side. Breath in and out. In and out. Go ahead and put the block down. Hold on to the back of your thighs. We're going to roll like a ball. Come right up to the top of our mat. Sit up nice and tall. Take a breath. Reach up the arms. Stretch up through your fingertips. Exhale. Fingertips come down. We're going to go side to side two times. Inhale. Right arm up and over. Reach. Stretch through the bottom rib cage as well as the top. Exhale down. Inhale, reach and hold for a breath or two. Stretch through the bottom rib cage as well as the top. Exhale over to the other side. Bring the arm up. Inhale, lengthen through both rib cages. Stay here. Turn and look at your left fingertips. Stretch through your right arm. Open up through that upper back. Reach those right fingertips out in front of you. Inhale, come back up, roll those shoulders back and down, be taller. Inhale, left arm comes up and over, lengthen through both sides of your rib cage. open, breathe in, and out, turn and look at your right fingertips, stretch through your left fingertips, open up that upper back, stretch those left fingertips out in front of you. Inhale, come back up, go ahead and raise up those arms, open up, stretch up, gaze up, exhale down to your heart. Touch your mind, remember where you are. Touch your heart, remember to be grateful. Breath in and out. Bring your hands down to the mat. Step your way back to your down dog shape. Go ahead and start walking the dog here, stretching through the backs of your legs, your heels, pulling the waistline up and in. Let the knees bend a little bit here. Keep finding your breath. Maybe give a little twisty action, pointing your knees as you bend your right knee, point it over to the left so that your hips twist a bit. 
make this comfortable, make this good movement. Working open those rib cages. If you do a lot of driving, riding, or being in a seat, those rib cages get kind of stuck into one another. So we gotta stretch them out. And then let's, when you come back to your center, let's do three heel lifts. Inhale, raise your heels as high as you can. Exhale, soften them toward the floor. They don't have to touch. Lift. Exhale, lower knees, keep that little bend. Lift. And lower, take a breath in. And out, drop the knees. Bring your wrists underneath your shoulders. Send your left foot back. Ball the foot down to the mat. Stretch through your spine. Belly button up and in. Tuck your chin. Lengthen the spine. Raise your left foot up. Cross your left foot over to the right side of your mat. For that nice stretch through your side. And we're going to turn here and we're going to look over our right shoulder and we're going to look back at that left foot. And then look back down, uncross, bring that knee back underneath you, send your right leg long. Ball the foot down to the mat, squeeze the belly button in, back through your heel, long through the top of the head. Go ahead and lift the toes up, cross your right foot over to the left. And now we're gonna look over to the left, almost like we're doing a proud poodle, but we're getting a little more stretch here. And then come back and bring that knee back underneath you. Take a breath in and out. Walk the hands out in front of you. We're gonna turn this into a plank. Lift out the knees, wrist over your shoulders, reach back to your heels, long through the hop of the head, squeeze the belly button up and in. Take an inhale, raise your right leg up, find a three-legged dog. Exhale, knee comes up and into your chest, arch your back. Inhale, send your leg long. Exhale, knee comes up and into the chest, arch the back. Inhale, go long. Again, thinking about engaging that core, squeeze those waist points. Go long. Drop your foot. Find an inhale, find your way back into a plank. Roll the shoulders out of your ears, reach back through your heel. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, knee up into the chest, squeeze your waistline up and then hold it. Go long. Exhale, squeeze all the air out. Inhale, go long. Exhale, squeeze up and in. Inhale, go long. Drop the foot, soften your knees, stretch your tailbone back, step your feet to the front. Fold, halfway lift, fold, widen your feet out to the sides of the mat. Bend your right knee, right hand to the inside of your left foot. Inhale up your left arm, open with a twist. Exhale, bend your left knee. Left hand to the inside of the right foot. Inhale up the right arm. Exhale. Bend the right knee. Right hand to the inside of the left foot. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Left hand to the inside of the right foot. Inhale up the right arm. Exhale, fold. Elbows, grab your elbows. Find a little rag doll. Tuck your chin. A nice little sway from side to side. Kind of really shifting the hips. From side to side, getting a nice deep knee bend. Maybe the toes turn out just a hair. Keep pulling in through your waistline. Keep finding those hip points. Breath in. And up. We're going to do circles. Hold on to those elbows. Squeeze your belly button in. Take an inhale. We're going to come up to the right, bending into the right knee. Lifting the elbows up. We're going to come up to the top. We're going to hold. Take a breath in, stretch up through your elbows. You're not lifting your heels this time, but stretch up. And then exhale, lean down to the left. Inhale, come up to the left, bend into that left knee. Push into the feet, lift up through your elbows. Exhale down to the right. We're not going to stay up for the lift this time. We're just going to come around. Inhale up to the right. Squeeze that waistline in, exhale down to the left. Inhale up to the left, push into the feet, bend that knee. Exhale down to the right. Let your fingertips land. Bring your finger feet back to your hip distance. Hands to thighs, halfway lift, shoulders out of the ears, lengthen that spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up, be tall. Tall mountain, push into the feet, squeeze the belly button in, breath in. And up, gaze up, pull the armpits down and a little bit back. Pull your waistline and lengthen through your left side, 
lengthen through your right side. Cross your right leg over your left. Grab your left hand with your, actually grab your right hand with your left wrist. And we're gonna pull our right hand to the left and make that C shape again. Breath in and out. Inhale, come back up. Uncross the foot, release the hands, gaze up. Exhale, cross your left foot over the right. Grab your left hand with your right hand and pull that left hand over to the right. Breath in and out. Inhale, find that tall mountain. We're gonna swing the arms back. Exhale, lean forward, pull your waistline and stretch the tailbone back. Lengthen the neck, reach back through your fingers. Inhale, come back up, tall mountain. Exhale, fold down. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, step back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. One more. Raise the heels, pull the waistline in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Soften your knees, stretch back through your tailbone. Take a breath, lift the heels, bend the knees, step the feet up. Fold, halfway lift, fingers to the mat, left foot steps back, find a lunge. Squeeze those inner thighs together, pull your right hip back in here, your left hip forward. Really get the hips nice and lined up here. Let's take a lunge, left fingers down, right hand lifts, open through your heart space, breath in and out. Stretch your right arm out in front of you, thumb pointing up, reach and stretch. Bend your elbow, bring your right hand behind your head. Now point your right elbow up toward the sky, rolling open the chest best you can. Inhale, release the hand, take it back up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the head. Step your back foot up. Fold. Halfway lift, fold, right foot steps back, find your lunge on this side. Right hip pulls a little bit ahead, left hip pulls back, pull your waistline in. Right hand down, left hand lifts, open up. Relax your shoulders out of your ears, try to get those shoulders away. Stretch your left hand out in front of you, thumb points up, you're kind of looking down at your toes here. Stretch through your fingers, pull back through your tailbone, bend your elbow, bring the hand behind your head. Inhale, roll your elbow toward the ceiling. Push your head into your hand. Don't let your chest collapse. Release the head, release the hand, back up. Exhale, hand down, back foot steps up. Fold, halfway lift, fold. Inhale, reach up, be tall. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to a mountain, push down into the feet. Lean over to the right side. Or lean over to your right foot. Get your right foot nice and grounded down. Take a moment here with both feet pushing down. Pretend you're pulling your um, big toes apart. And then let the legs soften. Now pretend you're pulling your heels apart. And now let the legs soften. And feel that engagement of the legs. Big toes apart. Exhale, soften. Heels apart. Exhale, soften. Relax the shoulders. Hips over the heels. Shoulders over the hips. Lean to the right foot. Bring your left knee up. Let's do three circles with that left knee. Three circles in one direction. And I'll do them in the opposite direction. Squeeze your hip points, find that core engagement. Drop the foot, find your mountain, take an inhale, sweep up the arms, lift your heels. Exhale, let the arms come down, drop the heels. Inhale, push into the toes or balls of the feet, reach up. Exhale, soften. One more, squeeze that waistline in, lift up. Exhale, soften down, lean over to that left foot. Find your left foot, engage. Don't let your right hip lift up. Pull your right knee up without that right hip lifting up. Three circles in one direction. Whee! And then three circles in the opposite direction. And then take a breath. Let the foot come down. 
Inhale, sweep up, lift the heels. Exhale, come back down, land strong into the feet. Inhale, reach up, lift the heels. Exhale, soften and land. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, we're gonna sit back into our chair. Land into your heels, pull your waistline in, make cactus arms for me. Pull the elbows slightly back like you wanna touch them back behind you, broadening through your collarbone, broadening through your chest. Now, your rib cage here wants to pop out. Pull it back towards you, find that engagement with your core. Squeeze that triangle area in. Sit back a little lower. Breath in and out. Bring the arms out in front of you. Inhale, raise them up, sweep up. Exhale, sweep them back, lift your heels. Exhale, land, stay in your chair, squeeze your belly. Inhale, sweep or exhale, sweep them back, lift your heels. Inhale, land, raise the arms. Exhale, sweep them back, lift the heels, stay. Stay here. Find your breath, find your balance, squeeze through your inner thighs. Go ahead and drop the heels, inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, left foot back. Find a lunge, breath in and out. Twist, left hand down, right arm lifts. Exhale, float that right hand down. Inhale, pull that right hip back, straighten through that front leg. Exhale, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, and bend. Take another breath in and out. Step the back leg up, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, left foot down, right foot back. Right hand down, left hand lifts. Float down. Inhale, pull the hip back, straighten that leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Straighten. And bend, take a breath in. Let your hips step down. Inhale, step that back leg up. Fold, halfway lift, hands to the mat, step back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, roll the shoulders out of your ears, squeeze your belly button in, bring your feet together to touch, side plank to each side. Yeah, roll on over, do a side plank, do your thing, doesn't matter which side. If you see your neighbor, good for you. <laughs> and then come on down. Hopefully they're not peering in your windows. And then come on up to the other side. Whenever you're ready, take your time. When you're ready, come on down. Don't worry, I'll give you a chance to lift your leg next time. Exhale, pull back to your down dog. Take a breath, soften your knees. Inhale, come into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga, plank. Right leg lifts up, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, give me three knee circles here. Drop the foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Plank. Lift the left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, give me three nerve circles here. Drop the foot. Soften your knees, stretch back through your tailbone. Take an inhale. Exhale, step your right foot over to the right side of your mat, bend into the knee, stretch into the hip. Step the foot back, take an inhale. Exhale, step your left foot over to the left, bend into the knee, stretch into the hip. We're not stepping to the top of our mat, just to the side. Step the foot back, inhale. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale, step it back. Exhale to the right. Take an inhale. Exhale to the left. Step it back. Take an inhale. Find your breath. Soften. Look to your hands. Step your feet up. Fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Inhale. Reach up. Be tall. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to a mountain. Find your feet. Push into your right foot. Bring your left knee up. Pull your hips down toward the ground. Make sure that left hip isn't high. You don't want it cattywonky. You want to squeeze in through those hip points. 
Keep reaching tall. We're going to cross our ankle over our knee. Pull your knee back toward you. Don't let your knee be pointed ahead. You want your knee pointed out to the side, pulling back towards you. We're going to sit back into a chair. Not a deep chair, just a little bend in that opposite knee. Inhale, come back up in the mountain. Exhale, sit back into that chair with the knee crossed. Inhale, back up, squeeze the belly button and lift. Last one, sit back, find your breath, stay here. Cactus arms, bring them out to the front of you. Inhale, stand up, stretch up, bring that knee up. Exhale, drop the foot. Inhale, lift up, gaze up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, find your tall mountain. Exhale, touch your mind. Remember to be here. Touch your heart. Remember to be grateful. Inhale, mountain. Put the weight into the left foot. Right ankle crosses over the left knee. And again, trying to make sure that knee's not popping out. Pull it back towards you. Land down. Squeeze those hip points and use your core. Gently reach down to the ground with your fingers. Go ahead and sit back. Inhale, lift back up. Not a deep chair. Exhale, sit back. Woo. Inhale, come back up. One more. Go ahead and sit back, and we're going to hold. Pull the elbows back towards you. Find your cactus arms. Squeeze them through your hip points. Bring your elbows toward one another. Take an inhale. Stretch up through your arms. Bring that knee back up. Exhale, let the knee drop. Inhale, stretch up, gaze up. Take the thumbs back behind you a little bit. Get a little back bend. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, sweep them up. Exhale, touch the mind. Be here. Touch the heart. Be grateful. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat. Down dogs. Inhale, plank. Side planks. Go ahead and lift the leg this time if you want to. Stretch through your heel. So when you come over, if you're going to lift the leg in your side plank, Think about reaching through your heel, pulling out through that leg, stretching through the leg as well. Push gently into the mat. Make sure your shoulder is comfortable where you're at. When you're ready, switch your sides. We shall meet back in the down dog. Take your time. Stay here as long as you like. Drop a knee if you need to. Make this yours. Give you some arm strength here. Keep breathing. Finding your breath. I'll wait for you all to be back in down dog. I see a hand still flying around here. Go ahead. Take a breath in and out. Find yourself back and down dog. Soften your knees. Stretch back through your tailbone. Breath in and out. Exhale. Inhale. Find a plank. Exhale. Lower all the way down. A couple belly back bends here, guys. So we stretch through the front of that body. Bring your feet together to touch if you can or very close. Push into the tops of your feet. Your palms are going to come underneath your shoulders here. So what I want you to do is pull your elbows toward the back of your mat so that your shoulders come out of your ears and we're going to lift and lower our chest first reach long through your toes and long through the top of the head get a lot of length here and now inhale lift the chest exhale come down if you want to make these a little harder take the arms out find your cactus arms again and float the hands inhale lift exhale lower lift lower Lift, lower, I got two more, lift, and lower, last one, lift, and lower, take a breath in, and out, stretch your left arm out in front of you, just your left arm, take a breath, keep your right hand where it's at, now lift just your left hand, reaches long, right foot lifts off the ground, reach from your left fingertips through to your right toes. Lift your chest. Exhale, come down. Bring your left hand back underneath you. Stretch your right fingertips long. Stretch, get your left toes off the ground like an inch or two. They're not going to lift up high. Keep looking at the mat. Take an inhale, lift the chest. Arm and leg will come up a bit. Exhale, bring that side back. Inhale, stretch both arms up. Turn your palms up. Lift your toes just an inch or two. Palms are facing up. Stretch through your fingers. Stretch through your toes. Keep looking at the mat. Exhale, bring the hands back underneath you. Turn your toes down and under. Push the mat away from you, lift up your chest, lift up your knees, find your plank. Exhale, down dog. 
Soften your knees, stretch back through the tailbone. Look to the hands, step the feet up. Fold, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, inhale, be tall. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to a mountain. Right foot down, left knee lifts. Inhale, raise up the arms. Exhale, step your foot back. Find your, find your crescent lunge pose. Sorry guys. Pull the hips, set there in line with mother. Pull the belly button up and in, breath in. And out. Exhale, sweep the arms back, lean forward. On the inhale, we're gonna sweep up the arms. We're gonna squeeze the waistline and we're gonna see if we can bring the knee up. And then we're gonna cross the ankle over our knee. We're gonna sit back into that pigeon chair. Inhale, come back up. Bring your knee up, drop your foot. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to mountain. Lean over to the left foot, right toes. Pull that right hip back down in the place of it, lift it up. Bring your knee up. Find your breath. Step your foot back. Find your crescent lunge feet. Land down strong, squeeze through the inner thighs. Raise up the arms. Armpits pull down, lift through your heart, breathe in. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale on the sweep up, bring your knee up. Cross your ankle, sit back into that chair, pigeon chair. Inhale, come up, bring the knee up. Exhale, land the foot. Inhale, lift up a little higher, take the thumbs back. Exhale, touch the mind, touch the heart. Find the mountain, push into the feet, lift up tall, breath in and out, in and out. Grab your blocks. <laughs> I was like, oh, I forgot to tell them the blocks, but we're not in a place yet where the blocks aren't going to be handy. So we're going to do a few things in a row here, and we're going to use our blocks for a revolved half moon. So we'll start, and we're going to bring that block over on that side because we will start with our right foot and you may need to move that block if you have two blocks but one on each side you know how i am with my left and my right so right now i'm thinking the left side is the right side but i could be wrong take a breath in reach out breathe in exhale to your heart inhale to a mountain relax your shoulders relax your face we're going to go ahead and lean over to our left foot we're going to bring up our right knee we're gonna cross our right ankle over our left foot. So we're gonna find eagle legs here. If you can wrap your foot all the way around, you can wrap your foot all the way around. If your foot just comes to the back or you can bring your toes to the ground. So do that, do whatever's good for you there. And then take up the arms, bend your elbows, pull your waistline in here. We're gonna go ahead and take, this is uh, the right arm's gonna come up and we're gonna wrap underneath the left. And we're gonna find our eagle arms. Find your breath, squeeze those hip points, squeeze that belly in. And then we're gonna exhale. If your foot comes undone, you can let it touch the floor. Bring your elbows to your knees if you can, or close to. And then inhale, come back up. Keep your eagle arms, find your feet, lift your left knee up. We're gonna send that left foot back for warrior three. Squeeze those hip points, reach back through your heel. Go ahead and undo the arms here, stretch out through your arms. Yeah, I knew I was gonna do that wrong. So we're gonna bring our right arm down, at least I knew I was gonna be wrong, and the left arm up for revolved half moon. Find your breath, the toe stays pointed down here, that lifted leg, that toe stays down. So don't worry about turning that toe. Keep breathing. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring that knee back, step the foot down, come into a fold. Halfway lift, fold, inhale, be tall. Exhale to your heart, inhale to a mountain. Relax the shoulders, soften into the feet, find your face, breath in and out, squeeze through your hip points. We're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. Right foot down, left knee lifts, switch your block to the other side. And then you're gonna cross over, you're gonna find your eagle legs. 
I'll come back here so you can see a little better. And again, if the toe comes to the ground, that's fine too. And then the arms are gonna come up. And we're gonna take our left arm, we're gonna sweep it out to the side, and we're gonna wrap it underneath our right. Pull the elbows up to shoulder height, pull the elbows back towards you, pull in through your waistline. And again, if the foot loses control down there, just go ahead and let the toe touch the ground. Exhale, elbows down to your knees, squeeze the belly button in, slowly, steadily. Inhale, lift back up. Go ahead and uncross, bring your knee up. Send it back behind you for a warrior three. Toe points down, eagle arms. Keep finding your breath, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Go ahead and release the arms, stretch them out, stretch back through your heel, stretch through the arms. And then from here, our left hand comes down and our right hand lifts. Open up. Toe stays pointed down. Roll the shoulders out of your ears. Stretch back through your heel. Breath in. And out. In. And out. Bring that knee back up. Step the foot down. Come into a fold. Fold. Halfway lift. Full. Take another breath here. Head, neck, and shoulders relax. If you'd like to widen your feet a little bit, keep your knees nice and soft. Make peace fingers. Grab your big toes. Bend your elbows. Pull your belly button in and then very gently pull yourself down towards your feet. As your toes lock your fingers, and now pretend you want to pull your feet up off the floor with your fingers to get a deeper stretch. Listen to the body here. Always do what feels comfortable. Keep breathing and let go. Fingertips find the floor. Bring your feet back to your hip distance. If they lost that hip distance, halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, reach up, be tall. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to a mountain. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. Hips over the heels, shoulders over the hips, ears over the shoulders. Get a little taller. Breath in and out. Inhale, reach up, sweep up. Soften your knees, lift up a little higher, start to take the thumbs back behind. Exhale, sweep those arms back. Inhale, sweep them up. Exhale, touch the mind, be here, touch the heart, be grateful. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, find your down dog shape. Soften your knees, stretch back through the tailbone, breath in. And out. We're gonna come into pigeon. If you do not like to do pigeon from down dog, then you can come onto your back. If you're good to do pigeon from here, go ahead and raise up your right leg. Bring your right knee towards your right wrist. And let yourself settle into that hip. Remember the leg does not need to be parallel to the front of your mat. Um, sometimes that's an alignment clue, but that's sometimes it's just too much for the hip. So figure out what's comfortable. Side to make sure that your hips are square, that you're not leaning over to one side or the other. And then if you wanna walk your hands back towards you, kind of lift up your chest and, and settle through the hips and then exhale very gently, let yourself lean down close to the ground. If you, your block should be up there, you can bring your forearms to the top of the block. You can let your forehead rest on the block, but take a few breaths and let yourself get comfortable here. See if you can locate the space where your neck and your shoulders meet. Take a few slower breaths there, maybe some cleansing breaths and release any tension between your neck and your shoulders. Lower, deeper breaths here, releasing. And then move on into your back and your hips and release anything you need to release in the back and in the hips.
keep the breath calm and steady. If this is starting to bother your knee to be in this shape, scoot your, your leg around a little bit, find where you're comfortable or roll over onto your back. And if you wanna do this on your back, that looks like this. Which is, you know, obviously you're not laying on your knee, so it's a lot, lot less pressure on the leg and the knee. Still a fantastic stretch. Take one more breath here, being aware of how the body feels. If you're on your back, simply switch your legs. Otherwise, come into your down dog shape. Maybe raise that right leg up, rotating the ankle, maybe making a couple knee circles. And then soften the knee, stretch the tailbone back, take a breath in. And out, go ahead and bring your left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, bring your knee to your wrist, let yourself settle into it. Find your space. Think about maybe lifting the chest up before you come down to kind of give your hips a chance to square and, and get a little more settled in. And again, if you're leaning to one side, try to find a little more balance and bring yourself a little more to center. And then find the breath and just breathe slowly, deeply. And if your neck and shoulders feel kind of relaxed from you breathing into them, go ahead and move right into the hip. Be aware of tightness or stickiness and send a little extra breath, a little love, a little prana to that space. If anywhere feels tight or sticky, send a little extra love, a little extra prana to that space. Don't be angry at the spaces that hurt. They need more love, send them more love. Love is healing, anger is not. Feel the rise and fall of your chest. Feel the movement of the rib cage. If you're on your back, you can do a little rocking from side to side. Let's so all take one more nice slow inhale here, breathing in, being aware of the space and the sensation. Exhale, release. Go ahead and find your hands, find your way back into your down dog shape. If you're on your back, stay there. Actually, no, if you're on your back, come into down dog again. When the guys want to do one more thing down on the floor before we lay all the way back. So down doggers, go ahead and stretch out that leg, do what you do. And once you're, everyone's here in down dog, we're gonna drop our knees, we're gonna drop our chest, we're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna do, I believe it's called cattail. Our tops of our feet come down. You're gonna stretch the arms out to either side like the letter T. Go ahead and turn your head so that you're looking over at your left hand. You're gonna raise your left foot up. You're gonna bend your left knee and bring the ball of your left foot up and over your right so that your right pectoral muscle gets a nice stretch here. So you can keep your arms just as they are, or if you'd like, you can spring your left hand in a little closer to you and open up a little bit deeper by pushing down into the mat and you can kind of gauge how much stretch that's giving you over in that right pec. So, you know, just be gentle. You can also lift your left knee up toward the ceiling to get a deeper twist in the hips. And then exhale, go ahead and let those hips come back down to the ground, stretch the arms back out like the letter T, look down at the mat. And now turn the head and look over at your right hand. Go ahead and raise the right foot up. Bend your right knee, bring the ball of the right foot up and over the left leg. And you can stay right here, just maybe gently lifting that right knee, getting a deeper twitch. Or you can bring that right hand in a little closer to you. 
and give yourself a little push opening up. Make sure your neck is relaxed here. And then go ahead and roll the belly button back down to the mat. We're gonna go ahead and push the floor away from us. Come back up, cross the ankles, come to hands and knees, and then come over to a seat for just a moment. We're in our seat. Widen the feet out. Oof. We're gonna lay back in just a second. Widen the feet out, grab your uh, elbows, pull your shoulder blades down your back. Lift up tall, I dream of genie hands or arms, and then exhale, knees to one side, pull the bum cheeks back, knees to the center. Exhale, knees to the other side, one more. Inhale up, pull the bum cheeks back, and one more core going on here, knees to the side. Inhale tall, exhale, knees to the other side. Inhale and tall, bring your feet close. Go ahead and grab the back of your thighs. Let's go ahead and lay all the way back and down. Squeeze those knees into the chest, give them a nice, Squeeze a little gentle rocking from side to side. Breath in and out. Go ahead and point both feet right up to the ceiling. Point and flex your toes just a few times here. Reach the arms up over the head. Stretch through your fingers, palms face one another. Stretch up through the balls of your feet. Go ahead and bend your knees. Bring your feet down. Stretch your left leg long. Take your, bring your right knee into your chest. Right arm comes out like half the letter T. Take that left hand, pull that right knee across your body for a twist. You can turn the palm up here. Your shoulder does not have to be pushed out into the ground. You'll still get a twist if it's not. And then go ahead and let that knee come back up. Bring both knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze. Go ahead and send the right leg long. Hold on to the left knee with the right hand. Let the left arm open up. Take that right left knee, pull it across the body with your right hand. Find a twist here. Maybe turning the head in the opposite direction of the knee. Keep breathing. Keep finding your space. Softening your face. And then let that left knee come back up. Bring both knees into the chest. Give them a little squeeze in, a little rocking from side to side here. Hands to the top of the thighs. Draw a few circles. In one direction, massaging your tailbone, low back area. And then back around in the opposite direction. Reconnecting, regrounding to the earth. Let your feet land down here. Let your arms open up to either side of you. So you decide here if you wanna grab one of your blocks and you wanna put your hips on a block and your legs up the wall pose, or you can bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees open up to either side. You can also put blocks underneath your thighs to help support your legs here. Find your comfortable savasana shape. Take three cleansing breaths for me here. Letting go and releasing of anything else that the movement and the breath did not help you release. Think of your mind as a sky, as the clear blue sky. And sometimes we pay more attention to the clouds floating in the sky. We forget that the mind is always and can always be a clear blue sky. So with your cleansing breaths, if you have any clouds, fluffy clouds, dark clouds, whatever they may be, blow them away with that cleansing breath. Allow them to gently be pushed aside by the breeze of your breath. And it's okay if you still get clouds floating by. It's perfectly okay. Find the gentle breeze of your breath. Feel it in the rise and fall of your chest. Feel it in your nostrils.
let go of any holding in the body and allow the earth to support you completely. Let go of any holding from the top of your head to your forehead, your cheeks, the corners of your lips, your tongue, your jaw, your neck. Let go of any holding and surrender to the gentle pull of gravity. Let go of any holding in the back of your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your hands. The front and back of your chest, let go. Your belly, your low back, your hips, let go. the top and bottom of your legs, your feet, your toes, let go. Feel the body melting into the mat. And simply be the gentle breeze of your breath. Stay connected to the rise and fall of your chest. Be here. Be at home in your body. May you feel peaceful. May you feel connected. May you be free from worry. like to roll onto your side and take a few more breaths, you're welcome to.
when you feel ready. Find your way to a seat. Let your palms come together. We touch our minds and our hearts and together we say namaste. Namaste.